Welcome back to Dream and Does Gaming Dream and here playing more Symphony of War Nephelon Saga. Um We're on to chapter 27, Return of, to the Origin. And with that, um oh I wanted to do a quick save here because I've been playing around with the organization of the army. And I filled out our squads a bit. Um in fact, we have one in reserve, but um, Draymond now has nine people in his squad. Uh, so does Lysander. F just basically filled out everybody really quick. I also had changed around some artifacts, like added Excalibur to Draymond's. Um, you know, made sure everyone had as many artifacts as we could. Added another um, bow guy here for jewels. Um, added in an extra guy, just, you know extra people wherever I could and it didn't affect the uh, you know the train and things so you know the movement there's still cavalry movement so which is great light infantry infantry um, yeah we added a spellcaster here for Stefan um, changed around so he has extremely high evasion artifacts and things as well Diana, he just added a, another um, archer, uh, not, uh, sorcerer, and, you know, added in, like, ignore 20% of armor, because she hits multiple people um, with the Syncrendo. She goes that extra time. Um, so ignoring 20% of armor seemed really good for her. Same thing here, Abigail's unit. Actually, we are making them more into taking out other dragons, so... 50% extra dragon damage and taking less damage from dragons. So, for Ascusia, we just added another person to hopefully become a another um, rogue type thing and also added the extra evasion. Um, Lysander, we added in an archer to hopefully turn into a uh, shooter guy later and, you know, 25% damage less from swords, which is nice. Just filled out. Basically everyone, you know, added in another another person here to Yoromir. Uh, Beatrix added in an, an extra healer because we could and just um, changed out some of the artifacts and stuff. So nothing too crazy, but just filling out everyone. I think we added in a healer here. So uh, General Gavi has a healer now, a dedicated one versus the Paladin, um, and also gains extra... <laughs> double XP and CP from combat, which is nice. That'll help out with these lower level guys. Um, did that for quite a few of our squads. In fact, do we have another one? Because we'll add it in. Oh, yeah, you do have one. Okay, never mind. Because it costs nothing. No, no cap, no capacity for it. So very good. Um, yeah, so that's basically what we did. We just kind of organize them all so I'll just let you you know we added in an archer here just because we needed that extra archer um cloud render we added in one more person in the back here but also gave them the gembu shell fragment so they're immune to crits now um but they have one squ less squad movement but with the boots of tyranny they have two squad movements so they're still fast they're just not insanely fast but I thought that was a good like counter for it um, same thing here, Matriarch, we just added another person, filled out some slots, and Lord Carneth, same thing, added another person, actually two people to the squad, and filled out slots. So there we go. Um, and with that, we're going to get right into the deployment of the next mission, Chapter 27, Return to the Origin. Your Excellency, the Nephilim army has reached the capital. What are we to do? What in blazes do you mean? Go out and fight them. You're wasting my time. My emperor, we have already swept all the um, armitage for conscripts. There's nothing left. We no longer have the strength to fight back. Only a handful of exhausted veterans from past battles. Then the veterans should gather whoever they can. Man the walls or repel the orphans' pathetic army. Do I have to do everything myself or can you manage this? Yes, your excellency. Uh-huh. Most of their army skinny youths. This is just whatever scraps Casimir still has left. They should be ripe for surrender. But the Xanatist cultists will also be here with powerful and merciless warriors. 
regarding the demoralized remnants of the Imperial army, Casimir was sacrificed their lives just to stave off the inevitable for a few moments. I think you know what to do, Draymond. <clears throat> An army of lambs can become lions at a moment's notice. Do you see that balcony atop the Imperial Palace? That's where they watched me executed in cold blood, and where they cheered and celebrated it. These people would have me thrown to the dogs. No, you bend the knee to Casimir, your life is forfeit. Um, Draven? What's going on? By Donar. Um... He's green. Interesting. Is his squad just, like, going to be... <laughs> I don't like this. Um, destroy no more than three Imperial squads. Okay, so we... Oh. Well, I have a feeling we're not going to do this challenge. It's going to be very tough to do. These guys are all fearless. Um... But we'll try to force them to surrender instead. Alright, we need some people up front. Um, Rascuja. Where's Stefan? Up here. Alright, like. Shirt sure, Jules. Barnabas. Diana. Get some of these people that can move a little bit faster. Um, Gavi. Roll on. Godiva. Put Cloud Render on the end and Abigail on the end. And then whoever else we have. So Yaromir. Beatrix. Warlord, um, Ephraim, Matriarch, and we'll put Karnath down there. 17, yeah, because we have 18 squads, so we'll see what happens here with this one. This is interesting, so we want to try to make them retreat from us. Do we have any anything on the map that I see? That's just a tree. Okay. So we just need to take this out. Okay. Makes sense. So it's just like these guys that are all fearless. Okay. So these guys are all shaken. Fearless. Dragons, okay. Should put Abigail on the side then. <laughs> it's okay. Rascuja. Yeah, if you can take out this guy here. Well, that was one squad done. <laughs> Uh, good times. Godiva can get all the way up here. Take these guys out. He dodged, so we should be able to, um... Um, force a surrender there. Which will be nice, actually. that count as a surrender? I hope so. Um, can't quite reach there, eh? Ah, darn. Okay, we don't want to do that. Can do this, though. And just do that. That's very nice. 
Um, maybe Lord Carnith can come here, force them to surrender. Nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's okay. Um, like I said, I'm not too worried about doing this challenge for this one as much as, you know, would be good. But we also just need to make sure that we're winning. Strong, that we're winning fights. There we go. Barnabas can get all the way over here. And that's it. <laughs> Couldn't do too much there. That's okay. Uh, we'll wait. Um, powers. We do want a meteor. I'm going to do these guys here because... They're all the dragons, and they are probably more powerful. We can hit them all. Which will be very good. Now I could teleport, like, Abigail. Here, and she might be able to get to there. My friends are counting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. No, she wouldn't be able to. So that won't help. Could teleport someone here to go and take these guys. What's our next that wouldn't be a bad idea to do. Um... tear some people see if that reduces their stuff no they're still all fearless okay hmm Repent before the righteous. Like I kind of want Diana to go up this way into the middle We just force them to surrender. Yeah, we can. Nice. On to the fort. Okay, so we could have just done that, but that's fine. to send you maybe like up to here and wait I kind of do want to put you here just to attack in on these guys that'll be nice Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, he went that way. Interesting. Seemed like a bad decision to fight Diana. Yeah, well. This could be worse. Ah, oh, they did take out the little guy. Too bad. Nice. Perfect.
That's pretty good. Okay. Some archers coming down, which is whatever. How many turns did we have to do this one as well? Should have looked at that. Because we will want to get um, our flyers up in here. Um, seven turns, okay. Would like someone, Karnith, okay, you can come over here and just remove this guy. Perfect. These guys are all fearless. Okay. Need someone to come heal you. Um, hmm. We also have powers to use. Meteor. Really want to do this just to make sure we can get through them all. Yeah. Okay. We go here. We can hit this guy and in an ambush. That'll be nice. That'll really remove a lot of their hit points. Okay. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Put Tatara here. Should be able to take these guys out. Yeah. Nice. It's like I really want to take out as many of these guys as we can. There we go. Um, with archers, with whatever. Okay. You know what, Matriarch? You might need to come over here and heal. So. Godiva. Let's do this. Get in here. Perfect. Um, and then move down. Same thing, Rolant. Move back because we can. Now we should be able to get these guys pretty good. Nice. take them out even better all right matriarch to here heal up very nice honestly I want Ephraim to take this guy out Because then we can use you to come this way and heal up yourself. Which will be very good. Um, might as well keep on terrorizing these guys, even though I don't think it does anything. Okay. Let's put you here. Try this out. Perfect. We 
means you can get in here and just go forward. Nice. Like, I'm just gonna wait you here. Because Diana can get up in here. Would like to probably heal her, though. Or at least, you know, some of her squad, right? Abigail can start moving up. Lysander can get to here and just blast these guys. Nice. And then Diana, you're the last one left, right? Because so we could teleport her and then attack some people. Yeah. And then we'll exemplar her. And then first off, hmm, who do we hit? Probably these guys. Nice. And then we bless her to go again. Maybe right there and do it again. There we go. And then we can meteor again, which will be very good. Yeah, I guess right there. That looks good. Nice. Not bad. Can get some nice levels on Diana here. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> also, not very much. Perfect. Oh. Didn't think they could attack from that far away, but... I mean, we'll take it. Ouch. Yeah, that one does hurt. That's okay. is why we put her there. All right, Cloud Render can come in, take him from a little bit of a surprise attack here, which is nice. Perfect. Um, let's push Lysander up. Very nice. Uh, do, do, do Barnabas can also get up here. In fact, he can get to there. Even better. We have another meteor available. We can't hit him. I guess we just hit it there. 
and we might as well use the terror on that guy. Shaken to shattered. Let's get you up there as far as we can. Actually, we'll wait on you. Because you guys can all attack in on this. Nice. Okay, now we'll move jewels. Perfect. Do I know who you are? No. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay. We're just kind of waiting now. Just getting people up. Kind of blocking ways so Draymond's unit can't get there. Okay. Oh, we actually haven't used you. Just force them to surrender. Get out of here. All right. much happen in here. Nice. Now it's just a matter of getting everybody else up. Oh, you can actually hit them. So we'll do that. Tatar can get to here and just force these guys out. Oh, they didn't surrender. Okay, well, they should have. <laughs> After all of that. Okay, let's do this. We'll get in there, get an attack in with Barnabas. That's a big hit. Ouch. But, for the most part, they're dealt with. Abigail can get here, remove them, and then we can also, um, who, who do I want to get up in there to take the attack? Could have Lysander. Um... Because then I can also exempl uh, not exemplar, but bless him after. Yeah, because you could get in. All right, we'll bless Lysander, and he'll go again. And then we'll be done. Look at that. Yeah, we didn't get that one done. That's okay. We surrendered a lot, though. So that's pretty huge. And we reached max faction rank. So that's good. Interesting. You really think it was a good idea coming here, do you? I I guess I saw something different about you. Any of the others? Any of the others would have killed you on sight. And if you don't have a good answer for me, they'll know you're here. I understand. While your interpretation of the text is somewhat rudimentary, 
I believe it to be correct. Well, correct enough for your purposes. If I'm correct enough, then how best to act on this information? That said, it disturbs me that you were willing to risk your life to come here. I know you have much to gain. I'm begging your pardon, but we are not so different. Except that you were blinded by the promise of reward that you let yourself get kicked around like a dog. I will not let that happen to me. Our business is done. I know how you, you feel alienated by the Nephilim. They do not deserve the power they wield, but just... Please don't hurt my Beatrix. <laughs> Pardon me? Please. Your Beatrix? What do you think you can win over that unhinged harpy by coming to her rescue? Go home, Jebediah, you poor misguided soul. <laughs> Interesting. And there we go. Casimir and his closest followers remain inside the Imperial Palace. Draymond and the Philomari's most elite warriors storm the palace, finally bring these villains to justice, but a desperate enemy is a dangerous one, which will soon become a lesson hard-earned. And here we go. No more, um, conversations, eh? We do have tech, though. And tech is awesome. 4, 8, 12. We can actually get all of them. Okay, so I guess it's, uh... That makes sense. New constructs start with mastery of available all tier 1. Start with 3 extra levels, full of loyalty. I mean, that would have been nice before I hired all those people, but that's okay. Advanced firearm techniques grant our gunners and dragoons additional attacks. Also very good. Um, minus one iron and obsidian cost for all units, so we should get some back. Oh, 50 iron now, huge. And then plus one range to siege cannons. Unlock all techs. Okay, there we go. I mean, that is quite huge. Kloss, Gwen. Yeah. Everyone is loyal, except for the mercenaries, I guess, which makes sense. Um, more of these. I'll get another one of those. I don't think I need this now, but I'll still buy it. All right, that's actually going to be quite huge in the scheme of things um you i need you to be who do we have in front okay yeah i want you to become a soldier and then you'll probably go into maybe even a knight or something um you're not quite there so You literally need five. That is extremely unfortunate. But we're going to do it. Just to be done. Get you up there. Um, more war bows, the better. Um, you can become... What's your skill right now? 30 versus 35. Be cavalier, I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll just keep on getting these guys up. Acolytes are nice. Um, I want you to be a shooter guy. Um, I guess we go crossbow. 
Yeah, because then we need you... You just need that up. Okay, makes sense. Go with an Acolyte, because it's nice to have some frontline defense. There we go. Basically all these new people that we got are all leveling up, which is nice. After only one fight, they're all... Um, all right there. Which is very good, like this. Um, what squad are you on? Ephraim. Um, so Spearman is nice, but we could probably do something like the soldiers behind. Um, and they can be like the Zweihanders. Get you, yeah, to a horse bow. Fantastic. Look at that. We... Oh, I thought I saw another green arrow. Um, what do we want you to become? Maybe a crossbowman. I don't really know. Cavalier. Scout. Maybe a scout. Oh, don't like this now. All right, we're going to have to remove you and put you somewhere else. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll have to play around with that after, but I just wanted to do all these level ups while we were on the, while we were recording. So, we want you to be a good frontliner. Uh, maybe a spearman would be good. Yeah. Again, just big heavy frontliners are nice. And there we go. Okay, I'll have to play around with the squads a bit. Probably try and get two more fulfilled as well. Um, yeah, but there we go. We're going to get into Chapter 28 Downfall next time. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.